All right guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and this is gonna be kind of the unveil of what I'm calling Spawnzilla. Now, if you guys remember, I picked up a Axial Racing Wraith Spawn kit version a while back, and I actually built that thing up, and while I was doing it, I really got inspired, and I, I've gotta say, I don't know what Axial is spraying on their kits and some of their RTRs, I don't know if it's just like some kind of like uh, Viagra for RC cars or it, it gets us going to where uh, we just want to upgrade everything. And that's kind of what happened here uh, with the Spawnzilla that you're seeing in front of you. Now, I originally had planned to take the uh, Wraith Spawn kit and kind of upgrade as I went. Well, one thing led to another and by the time I actually did a tally of the parts I had invested in, um, the only thing I had that was still axial was a skid plate. I had um, the plate that mounts the uh, servo onto it, and that's about it. Uh, that's all that I needed to uh, purchase to actually make a whole nother wraith. So instead of taking the spawn and dissecting that thing, uh, down to an upgraded Wraith, I decided to do a piece-by-piece piece build. Now, of course, you guys may have watched Squirrel and seen some of his piece-by-piece piece builds, and I definitely want to give credit to him on that term and also um, kind of his series. So uh, that is my uh, little credit video for Squirrel. Uh, he's inspired me over the years, and this thing uh, is kind of dedicated to him. Why not? Hey. So uh, in the end, um, there is a lot of money invested in a piece-by-piece -piece build and it really makes sense in the long run because you're not wasting the money on an, an RTR or a kit version by just upgrading it as you go. You pretty much build it uh, from the ground up with the parts that you really want to put on it. So uh, this is not a budget build by any means. Uh, this is something that is going to be uh, definitely tested and uh, very durable uh, to say the least and very heavy because of the parts that are used on it. Now, of course, I have enough Vanquish on this Wraith to choke a small donkey, so uh, keep that in mind. With that comes a huge price tag, along with some of the other names that are on this build. So, uh, really quick, I want to go through some of the parts. I may miss stuff, and I was originally going to unveil this thing as a complete vehicle and not take you guys through the build process, but I didn't want to leave you guys behind. So, uh, here we are. We're going to talk about uh, some of the build here and the parts that I've used so far. Now keep in mind the only thing axial that I've used on this build so far are the HD bevel and pinion gears um, on both front and rear and I also used the servo mounting plate up here on the front of the curry axle so uh, that's basically it. Uh, there's no other axial parts. Oh actually I did use their axial hard anodized clamping uh, servo horn so uh, but other than that this is all a custom build here. Um, as far as the axles, uh, these things are the Vanquish Curry Wraith version. And I gotta say, uh, these things are just beautiful. I, I loved actually opening these things up, working with them. I mean, they're just precision and I, I, I it's just a work of art. I mean, whoever designed these things and took them off of the one-to-one uh, -one version. I mean, great job. So really nice that they're all one-piece uh, tubes over here, that there's no lockout uh, on the far end. Very nice feature here. Um, I am using the uh, titani titanium links here from Vanquish as well. Uh, they went on pretty easily, uh, very easy to uh, just pretty much bolt up to the Revo rod ends that it's included in the kit. Um, right here, these are some 450, I believe, uh, sized SLW hubs. Um, I'm about ready to mount the wheels on, so just wanted to kind of get a test fit. I am using the 12 millimeter Vanquish um, uh, hex uh, adapters on there as well. So those seem to have fit better than the Axial ones for some reason. Uh, let's see here, underside here, making sure I'm not missing anything. Nice little Delrin skid that comes with the curry axles. What, what I really like about the curry axles is you get everything in, in, in the bag. There's no loose pieces that you may have to still buy uh, with the exception of the um, 
bearings and the bevel gear set from Axial. As far as bearings, I am using, kind of see the yellowish color right there. These are Avid uh, Revolution bearings. Uh, I've always used those things. They're solid. Uh, they work very well. So throughout the build, those are being used. Now, as far as screws, uh, you, you got to buy screws when you're buying a one 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 piece kit or or a piece by piece kit. And I picked up the full set of RC screws here. And the unfortunate thing about the RC screws kit is it does come in this nice little uh, toolbox here, but it is completely disorganized when you get it. So about thirty-two bucks or so, and you get this kit. I had to kind of put it out in this little kind of Tupperware uh, little bin. So on towards the uh, front here, and we'll talk about that transmission here in a second. The front, I am using, uh, once again, the Curry axle uh, for the Wraith. These are the offset pumpkins. I didn't want to use the centers, only because they've just been out for a little while. Uh, titanium links up front. I am using a Futaba BLS. 172. Now that is the plastic version of the top. I know that the 77 has the aluminum version, uh, but it was actually out of stock. So I picked this one up. Still has over 500 ounce inches of torque, and I think this thing will do very well in this Wraith build. Um, I am using the servo mounts um, from Vanquish. Uh, also the servo uh, mounting plates here as well. Um, just made sense to just go ahead and use all of that product. Everything matches. It just looks really good. Uh, here are the scale uh, C-hubs and knuckles. Um, you can't beat these things. I mean, if you kind of see way deep in here, there's actually uh, scale welds inside there. I, I was just amazed when I was putting this thing all together. I am using the Vanquish uh, VVDs, I believe they're called. Um, super strong. Uh, everything just kind of went together perfectly on this build. I originally had the Axial ones but it just didn't make sense to put those inside. Um, these things are spinning so smooth. Uh, it's just amazing. They were a little bit stiff at first, but once the bearings got kind of uh, set in, everything was perfect. So um, as far as uh, links, once again, the Titanium Vanquish ones. Now on to that centerpiece. Now, as far as the under skid right here, this is the Hot Racing uh, aluminum skid plate. I'm not sure I'm gonna run this thing. I've heard uh, good and bad about it. Uh, the reason I like it right now for the mock-up is I don't have to modify it to fit my Pro 4 550 size motor in this thing from Tekken. Um, it bolted right in without an issue at all. I know on the stock Axial one, which a lot of guys are running, the plastic one, you do have to pretty much shear off a large portion of that skid plate to make a 550 or larger size motor fit. So um, I ended up just using this. I had it in the shop here um, and it bolted up nice with no modification whatsoever. So uh, once I get the uh, main chassis in, we'll see how everything works. And I'm kind of working with uh, a buddy of mine, Derek, to see what we can do as far as getting this thing kind of impregnated with some Delrin or some kind of slippery plastic. So I know he's been uh, working with some different concepts and figuring out how we can get a uh, kind of plastic um, on the bottom of this and still have the strength of the aluminum. So that would be super nice. Now, of course, this is the creme de la creme. This is the super shafty um, bomb proof six millimeter output uh, transmission. This thing is super expensive, 260 I believe is uh, the out, out the door price, uh, plus shipping and tax if applicable, um, but it is super nice. I mean, this thing just totally spins freely. Um, I just can't believe how smooth this thing is. So uh, very nice, mates up to the Pro 4 nicely, has their own custom aluminum plate right here, um, which you won't find on the Axial version. Um, hot racing uh, um, actual, uh, transmission case, all aluminum, aluminum back plate here, and there's other little bells and whistles that uh, Super Shafty does, but super nice, um, very expensive, but uh, this should be the last transmission I have to even think about purchasing for this build. So, uh, well guys, that's kind of it. I didn't want to leave you guys in the dark. I know that I've been posting some pictures on Facebook of this build, and I want to kind of show you guys in detail kind of what I've used. I may have missed a few things, so keep that in mind. And hopefully you guys will see a halfway finished Wraith Spawnzilla. That is my official name for it so far. So if you guys have a different name for it, uh, post it on down below. I want to hear your thoughts on this thing. Um, comments or questions on down below as well. Well, that's it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this long, almost 10-minute video. 
Um, we will see you guys next time. That's it for now, guys. Over now.